Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your reading. Where is this connection going? Um, this can be for Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, and it's going to be a reading looking to see what's the overall um, future or the prospects of your current connection. So super excited to be doing this reading. Uh, just a gentle reminder to like this content if you enjoy this video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates um, where new readings are going to be coming up on the channel as well. So um, I'm going to be using a couple of decks and we'll see what comes up um, in regards to this connection and where is it going. Okay, we'll look at the overall energy first using the Soul Cards Tarot. Um, so let's see your uh, the prospect of this uh, connection. So let's look at the overall energy. Where is this connection going for air signs? Um, at this present time okay we've got the nine of wands it's a very guarded energy okay so overall energy the nine of wands is about needing protection or it's about needing to take things slow in order to not hurt yourself or hurt your person so straight away i feel like this is I mean, this is powerful in the sense that nine is a number of endings. It's a number of understanding something and having wisdom about it. Um, so I want to say for a lot of you, currently the energies are telling me that your overall, um, the future of this connection is a nine, which is great because there's a big shift or a change coming into the picture. So this is good. We have a change. There's some sort of transformation. And with the, with, with the nine comes a one. So we've got renewal of some kind. So there's a big change happening in your connection, especially for your future. There's a new beginning that's coming up, which is fantastic. The nine of ones, it is that guarded energy, however. And it's about you trying to protect yourself because you might have been hurt before. Uh, maybe against a fire sign. Uh, or it could be this person is trying to protect themselves so they don't get hurt by you. It's... It's a closed off energy. Now, that doesn't mean there's no future because like I said, there's the possibility of new beginnings. So this is fantastic. What I think is, um, what I think it's pointing to more than anything else, um, more than anything else, air signs, it's that this is a period where you need to be guarded. Okay, the future of this connection, it's almost like it's being protected or well, there's a message here that you need to stay protected. But let's see what else this could mean. Let's let's pull out a few more cards and see why is this nine of wands coming up in the future of this connection. There could be an ending for some of you. Okay, we can't deny that the nine is an ending. Okay, there could be an ending in this connection. Okay, so we've got the eight and the nine of wands. Consecutive cards. Okay, there's a judgment call or an ultimatum. There's the shift taking place that I've mentioned. You've got some fantastic cards here, um, air signs. Okay, this is you as the Ace of Swords. So you're you're ready and you've sort of positioned yourself um, in a place where you're fighting for a connection. Your energy is almost like you want to fight, you want to try. You're not giving up. You're going to keep continuing whatever this is, even though at the same time you might be trying to stay like protective of yourself. You're trying not to get hurt, but at the same time you want to fight for it. And this is very beautiful, you know, air signs. You obviously feel something very significant for this person, for this connection. And you feel like in a large, a large part of you, the star, the wheel of fortune, that this is a faded connection. And it's like fate, fate has brought you to this person and you're not going to let go of them that easy. Okay, so you're fighting for a future with this person. The Nine of Wands with the the, um, the Star card, I'm getting something that something needs to heal or something that's been continuously happening in the relationship that hasn't been going well and it keeps happening and it keeps destroying what you have. You don't want that to break it down and you want to heal from that. But I'm seeing you're going to be getting the help or you're going to be getting the healing. The Judgment card is here, which makes me feel like um, there's a lot more, I think you're in for a surprise is what I want to say. Uh, I feel like your person might come to you and tell you how they really feel. And it may be a bit of a shock to you. It may be like news to you, but I think with a judgment card, you might also even feel like you're being judged because this person has something to communicate and it's about you. Okay. It may be about your communication style. It may be, um, about your insecurities. It might be something you express about yourself and maybe you didn't know the way you come across and maybe you won't see the way you come across, um, until this person sort of says something. 
so i'm getting the vibe that they'll um yeah they'll, they'll pick up on that um and, and they're gonna sort of open up and tell you that um is what i'm getting here but to have that strong aquarian energy in the future of your connection, I'm seeing a more confident connection. Um, and I feel like this is a very divine time. It's a very sensitive time in this relationship for one reason. There's a lot happening or there's a lot riding on this connection at this time. I also feel like because it's like a time, it could be like a trial. Um, some of you might be like testing something out with your person. You might be trialing out your connection. You might be wanting to see how it goes. You might be trialing therapy. You know, there is help and there is healing and some of you are going to turn to that um, in order to let things calm down and settle down more. But I think it's a very good sign that the Queen of Pentacles has come up because she is that energy of things being calm and things being settled. So it's very likely that although the overall energy is the Nine of Wands, you're being protective, um, ultimately the, 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 prop the probability of settling down for good is very likely. Um, and, you know, I love, okay, there might be some judgments that come into the picture, you know, some might offend you, you may offend your person, but ultimately it's, it's for the right reasons. It's being done for constructive purposes rather than malicious purposes. And I love what this represents. I think it's a very positive outlook towards your connection. The judgment card, the uh, star card, it's speaking of a fated karmic connection that you're currently in. Um, and the future of this connection, you know, I feel like there is a lot of changes um, and I feel like you need to give it time. This is about giving something the time. Um, so I get the sense that some of you either need to give time for your person to change, to improve, to heal, to forgive, or you need to give yourself the time to heal, to come around, to believe in love again, to believe that person again. And I, I wouldn't say you should place any time limit on it. I think this, because there's so much transformation happening, I think you're going to know when you're ready um, to move this relationship forward or you're ready to jump into the deep end again. I think you just need to be patient with, your th with yourselves, S signs because you're very hopeful and you want that change you know you so badly want things to change and you want that new beginning with that person and it's very likely you're going to get it you know, you've got eight nine and you've, you've got that number one here look at that ace looking like a number one and that um the ten of the wheel of fortune that becomes a one as well so to see that i think is like reassurance personally that things things are destined to improve here and you should wait until you see those magnificent changes, which you most certainly will, um, you know, before you choose to walk away or before you choose to end things. Because I feel like the power is in your hands. And if you want that ending, you can make it happen. But I feel you need to give something more time and you need to let things heal in their own time. Because the Queen of Pentacles, this person can give you a very settled life. They can give you a lot of love and affection and devotion. But of course, you know, I think time will tell. That's the most important thing for you. I will leave your reading at that, uh, though, uh, air sign. So thank you so much, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'm sure I'll see you very soon. So thanks again, and bye for now.